Okay, in this video, we are going to take a look at the next section. And the next section that we have up is are these two uh, these two featured sections here. <clears throat> now this is listed under media. Uh, we had just previously done the sliders. So this is the media section and you can see here there are two choices. There's a video embed and then there's just a regular uh, photograph with a call to action and a little header. Well, let's go ahead and do the video. Um, if we click on it, it'll insert it as the next section. You can see here there's a block with a solid background. There is a button, um, a little bit of a, a headline, and then a, a bit of text. Uh, this can be, again, just changed like you normally would do any of the other text. And what we have over here is this kind of a special part. And what this is, is this uh, whole section is kind of a feature. So if you wanted to kind of really pop it out of the page so that people will be able to see it uh, more easily, or if you want to show uh, a special video uh, among many other videos, this would be a way to kind of set it off from the rest of the page. So you can see here, there's a video icon, uh, which lets you know that there is a video that is going to be here. Uh, you can't actually see it right now unless you go ahead and preview it in the browser. Then you would be able to actually see the video and watch it. Now Moby Rise at this point only accepts um, video that is uploaded to another place. Let me show you. <clears throat> so you can see here if you want to click on this to change the video it only supports YouTube and Vimeo URLs. So right now you can't upload your own video to your own website and then link to that at least in this particular module. So right now it accepts <clears throat> something that's already being hosted on a different website, uh, specifically YouTube and Vimeo. You can choose the aspect ratio. One is uh, 16 by 9 is widescreen and 4 by 3 is the standard definition. You can choose to autoplay the video so that whenever the user comes to the section, it's autoplaying. And then you can also choose to loop it. So if it was uh, a video that you want to just continually run, when it gets to the end, it restarts. Uh, you can choose to do that as well. So they have a video embedded right here already. Uh, so you would put your own uh, link in there. And the way that you find that link is... <clears throat> Let's make a new window here and I will show you. I'll show you. Let's go to YouTube. I'll show you how to grab that link for a video that you've uploaded. So I can actually go to. <clears throat> some of my channels. This is a video that I've <laughs> uploaded Click before. Here. It takes you right down to that section. And uh, what you do is on this video page you can see that there are sharing settings. So you can add it to a uh, playlist or you can share it or there's some more things that you can do. Um, if you click on share then it will give you this link here. It's already highlighted. All you have to do is just copy it and then you go back to Moby Rise. Click on your video and so you get an option here to add an image or you can add a video you can see. Uh, now this is a little bit different you saw over here. Uh, this is just an aside. So you can choose the video from the I mean the video from the outset or you can choose the image from the outset. But once you set the block in here, you can actually choose uh, to add uh, you can change an image if you want. And so you can put an image in there, or you can choose to put a video. So let's get rid of this, and then we will paste the link from before and preserve the aspect ratio. I don't want to do any of these autoplay. Click OK. And then now you can see that it's been placed in here. Um, maybe it would be better to go ahead and set it as a standard definition. Let's see. No. Not any better. Alright, so it is in there. 
and then I could change any of this text and information here again you can change this to whatever you want it to be you can change the color of the button you can change the font font size you could add um, you could add a second button if you wanted to have two calls to action here um, let's look at a few a few of the parameters and then I'll show you what it looks like live uh, you can choose to show or hide the title you can choose to show a subtitle which will be here you can choose to show or hide the text you can show or hide the buttons and then this one actually will use it to flip this so if you click that it flips it over to the right side so it says the media is on the right side as opposed to the left so very easily to just flip that back and forth um, you can choose a background image just like many of the other blocks and you can choose whether that image is a parallax image you can see how it moves in the background or you could choose it to be just a static image <clears throat> you can also choose a background color and this is what it comes with uh, initially so you can choose any color that you want for the background if you want it to be the same color as the background you could do that and then it makes a nice little um, just a two column type of approach and so you would have you know your button here so you would have kind of a two column approach to this particular section so it would be a featured uh, type of style but it would just you know kind of go down the page with a white background or whatever your background choice is and then lastly you can choose a background video if you want to and then for the image and for the background video you can also choose an overlay just like you have with some of the other sections uh, notably the header at the top so you can change the overlay color and overlay it so that the background doesn't show through right now we'll keep it as a background color and we will just add it as a nice um, like a red color let's change this back to white we'll change this one to gray this one to clear <clears throat> actually let's get rid of this so whichever one you want to get rid of uh, you just click remove and it removes that and let's go ahead and move it back to the left side so those are the parameters again you can always move blocks by grabbing this and dragging it to the position that you want it to go but let's take a look at this inside the browser and then you can see that the video actually works so here's our live website and then if we click the video Highway embed consulting then it begins um, I'm going to talk to and then all of these options are still available with closed caption you could go full screen <clears throat> and then the person can stop it it's a fully live video they can share it just like you would normally share a video embed um, they could add to a watch later list and then you have your link here uh, which is good to go so that is the featured image featured video section and next up uh, we'll take a look at uh, we'll take a look at some of the other media elements I think we'll do the gallery next and show you how to put a gallery of images either all the way across or as a box layout <clears throat>